And so, in fact, um, the Conservation Farming Unit in Zambia and the Zambian Farmers Union have been extending this technology to maize growing farmers, uh, crop farmers throughout the um, Zambian crop production areas. Their own trials proved that um, these kind of systems with 100 trees per hectare uh, exhibit enormous uh, potential to increase maize yields even in the absence of fertilizer applications. But fertilizer in addition can further increase those yields. We see these kind of phytherbia systems integrated with maize production in a number of countries, um, including Zambia, where you see um, a beautiful, mature phytherbia system uh, in a crop of hybrid maize in the southern highlands. Um, we also find that hundreds of thousands of farmers in Malawi have integrated these trees into their maize production systems as well. So practical systems for intercropping trees into maize production and other cropping systems have been developed and are being extended to hundreds of thousands of farmers in Malawi and Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, Ethiopia, and other countries. Well, in fact, um, the portfolio of options includes not only these full canopy trees, um, but also coppicing, fast-growing, nitrogen-fixing shrubs that are managed at high densities within the maize fields, um, in effect producing thousands of fertilizer factories for biological nitrogen production, fuel wood production, fodder production within the maize field and producing excellent results. Um, this farmer in Malawi um, intercropped um, Gliricidia in his maize and he has been producing the kinds of yields that most farmers only dream of. Our long-term trials uh, in Malawi and Zambia show uh, very similar results of uh, declines, long-term declines in grain yields of maize without fertilization, as you find in many, many millions of farms. But with the establishment of these Gliricidia uh, shrubs, you build up to a new plateau several tons of maize higher than the um, unfertilized maize uh, with uh, no, for, uh, no uh, Gliricidia trees incorporated. So the only difference here is the incorporation of the trees, giving you much higher and sustained yields, whether you're in a good year or a drought year, um, for these kind of systems. Likewise, there's been research showing um, the conventional maize production and agroforestry uh, with the application of fertilizer, and again, showing um, major increases in yields synergistically when the trees, which are producing the organic matter that increase the response to nitrogen, are combined with um, various rates of fertilizer. And so it is the combination of uh, inorganic and organic fertilizer that can raise yields up to six tons per hectare under these smallholder farmer systems. But how are farmers themselves performing? When we surveyed um, hundreds of farmers in six districts across Malawi several years ago, we found that, again, with no fertilizer application, um, maize only 1.3 tons per hectare, maize plus fertilizer trees, three tons per hectare. A dramatic increase under the kinds of realities, the kinds of conditions that smallholders are actually facing. One of the other um, options for farmers to integrate perennials into their systems is to grow uh, these uh, Tephrosia shrubs, which are in fact an annual um, practice. They're planted as an intercrop with the maize on an annual basis and incorporated into the soil at the end of the dry season before the next crop. Again, um, with the uh, application of Tephrosia with or without fertilizer, you are finding dramatic increases from one to three tons per hectare, and then with additional fertilizer, bringing the yields up to six tons per hectare. These are the kind of results that have given us the confidence to go into mass propagation of um, uh, these